Hey guys, this is Jay Harris again with Infinity Box. And we've posted a lot of videos lately showing all the cool things you can do with our InTouchNet and our Infinity Box system. With InTouchNet, you can use any smart device or tablet to control everything in your car, from your lights to your ignition to your heating and air conditioning to your windows and locks. And you can do that from any smartphone or any tablet. In this video, we want to show you another option of creating a touchscreen interface that you can install in your dash to get the same control. And that touchscreen can be as big or as small as you want. So, and in this video, we're going to talk about the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is a microcomputer. It's been on the market for a long time, and it's what a lot of hobbyists use to create special projects. But fundamentally, the Raspberry Pi is just a small computer. The cool thing about the Raspberry Pi is it's cheap, and the new version 4 has Wi-Fi built into it. And Wi-Fi is what you need to connect to our InTouch Net. On top of the Raspberry Pi, there are a lot of HDMI touch screens available that you can really get in any size. So what we have here is a 5-inch LCD touch screen, a Raspberry Pi, and then a micro SD card. And in this video, we're going to go through the whole steps of what you need to do to set this up to make a touch screen that you can install on the dash of your car and connect to our InTouch Net. So stay tuned, and we'll go through the steps one by one. Okay, so let's look in more detail at the parts you need to make this Raspberry Pi based touch screen interface for the Infinity Box InTouch Net. What you see in front of you is what you need. The first thing you need is you need a Raspberry Pi, and it should be the version 4, which is the newest one. There are multiple memory sizes for the Raspberry Pi. We got the most basic, the 2 gig, it's the smallest size, it's the cheapest. This was about $35 on Amazon. The next thing you need is this HDMI touch screen. The one we bought is a 5 inch diagonal screen. And again, on Amazon, this is about $40. The nice thing there is that there are sizes from 5 inches to 15. So you can make this as big as you want in the dash for your car. And then the last thing you need is the micro SD card. And the micro SD card holds the software that lets the, the Raspberry Pi do its job. You need a 2 gig card. The cheapest one we found was actually a 32 gig card. And this one comes with the micro SD card and the SD to micro SD adapter. And that's going to be really helpful when you actually set up the software. That was about $15 on Amazon. So for about $100, you have everything you need here to make a complete touchscreen interface that you can mount in your dash connect, that can connect to our InTouchNet. So let's look at these in more detail. So let's start with the Raspberry Pi. When I open up the box, what is, is, what's in here is the Raspberry Pi. And this may look really complicated, but it's actually really simple. This is a complete microcomputer. It has USB ports here, the micro SD ports are here that connect to the screen, and it's going to get power from this USB-C connector. And if you click on the link in the description, you'll get more information about how you make that connection. Again, it looks complicated, but it's actually really simple. The only other thing that you have to worry about on the Raspberry Pi is that this connector right here is where you plug in the micro SD card once you've installed the software. So I'm going to move that out of the way. This is the USB HDMI touchscreen. We bought this 5 inch screen on Amazon because it was a convenient size and it was easy for the video, but you can go as big as you want. In this box, it includes the touchscreen. It also includes a USB cable and a micro HDMI to HDMI connector. And these are the only two connections you need to worry about to go from the screen to the Raspberry Pi. If you look at the back of the screen, this is the HDMI connector here, and this is going to plug into that. You'll also notice that there is a USB touch USB connector. And that's what takes all the touch signals from the screen and passes those to the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to plug the USB cable into that. I'm going to bring back the Raspberry Pi. 
I'm going to take this micro HDMI cable and plug it into one of these ports here. And then I'm going to take the USB cable and plug it into this USB port right here. And that is every connection that I need to make from the touch screen to the Raspberry Pi. Now the other thing you'll note here on the touch screen is it has these four mounting locations that make it real easy to mount this any way you need it in your dash. So that's it. The last thing we're going to do right now is actually set up the software so the Raspberry Pi can do its job and then we're going to connect the Raspberry Pi to InTouchNet. So keep watching for those details. Okay, so we've gone through all the parts that you need to create this touchscreen interface for our InTouchNet. The next thing we need to do is install the operating system on the Raspberry Pi. There are a lot of different options, but we really recommend Raspbian. And you can download that for free from the Raspberry Pi website. And think about Raspbian as like Windows or the Mac OS. It's the operating system that lets the Raspberry Pi do its job. So keep watching, and we're going to show you how to set that up. Okay, so we've looked at the hardware you need to make this Raspberry Pi based touchscreen interface for the Infinity Box in TouchNet. Now, let's talk about the software that you need to set up. And actually, this is much simpler than it seems. We've taken that micro SD card, put it in the SD card adapter, and plugged it into this laptop. The next thing you need to do is you need to go to raspberrypi.org. And this is a great community that has all kinds of different projects and things wrapped around the Raspberry Pi. And here, if you go to Downloads, under Downloads, here's where you can download Raspbian, which is the operating system for the Raspberry Pi. And what you want to click on is this Raspberry Pi Imager for Windows. And when you click on that, it's going to give you the option to download it, and then you want to save it to somewhere you can get to easily. So we've already done this and we have it here on the desktop of this computer. So that is the program that you download from Raspberry Pi. And it's called Imager. So if I double click on this, it's going to start the process to put the operating system on the SD card. So it's asking for permission. I'm going to say yes. And you're just going to go through these step by step. So we're going to install it and through the magic of television and YouTube, we're going to run the Raspberry Pi Imager. So it's going to give you a couple of options. You want to choose the OS or the operating system, which in this case is Raspbian. And then you want to choose the SD card. Now we installed the SD card into this laptop. And there it is. It actually shows up as the E drive. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to hit Write. OK, through the magic of video editing, that's done. It wrote the software to the micro SD card, and then it verified it. And it took about 10 minutes. So once you get this message, you can hit Continue. You can close out of the Raspberry Pi loader, eject the micro SD card from your laptop or your computer, and then go install that in the Raspberry Pi. OK, now you have a fully functioning microcomputer. We have set up the Raspberry Pi, we have connected the touch screen to it, and we've installed the Raspbian operating system to that Raspberry Pi. So now you need to connect the Wi-Fi from that Raspberry Pi to our Infinity Box in TouchNet. And we've showed you how to do this for smartphones in tablets in another video, and we're going to link to that in the description below. So keep watching, and we're going to show you how to do the final setup and connect your Raspberry Pi and your touchscreen to our in TouchNet. Okay, so we've put the Raspbian operating system on the micro SD card. We've connected the touch screen to the Raspberry Pi. We've put that micro SD card into the slot on the Raspberry Pi. And right now we powered it up with a USB-C cable. 
There was a couple of questions we had to ask. We had to set up a password. We didn't show that for the sake of the video. But what we need to do right now is connect the Wi-Fi from InTouchNet to the Raspberry Pi. For the sake of the video, we have a keyboard and a mouse connected to the Raspberry Pi just because it makes us easier as we shoot this. But you don't need that. Everything we're doing right here you can do by touching the touch screen you have connected to your Raspberry Pi. So the first thing we need to do right now is to connect the Raspberry Pi to the Wi-Fi network broadcast by InTouchNet. We've done another video about this that shows us in more detail and we're going to link that in the description below. The InTouch network we're connecting to right now is InTouch 415. And this is going to depend. Whatever one you have is what you're going to connect to. And your configuration sheet that came with your InTouch net will have the name of your InTouch net. So when I click on this, it's asking for a pre-shared key. And that is the password that is on the configuration sheet that you got with your InTouch net. So I'm going to type that in right now. And I'm going to hit OK. And so now it's making a secure connection from the Raspberry Pi to your InTouch net over Wi-Fi. And this works exactly the same way as you do it with a smartphone or a tablet. So once that's done, I'm going to go here to the upper left corner. And I'm going to click on this little globe here. And that's the browser for the Raspberry Pi. And so when I open that up, this is now going to make a connection just like any other smart device would to your InTouch net. On your configuration sheet is the IP address you need, which is 192.168.1.50. And I'm going to hit enter, and that's going to make a secure connection to your InTouch net. So when your Raspberry Pi connects to the website that is served inside the InTouch net box, you see all the normal InTouch net controls. Controls for the engine, your lighting, your windows, your locks, your heat and AC. And pressing these buttons on the touch screen will get you all of these controls through the Infinity Box system. So as we said before, you can put any size of touch screen on this Raspberry Pi and whatever size you would need to fit the dash to get the touch screen controls that you want. OK, so in this video, we have taken you through all the steps to make a Raspberry Pi based touchscreen interface to connect to the Infinity Box in TouchNet. You can use practically any size of touchscreen and you can hard mount that in your dash to get complete control of your car. And that includes things like your lights, your ignition, your starter, your windows, your locks, and even your heating and air conditioning. The nice thing about our InTouch Net is you have the flexibility to control it from this Raspberry Pi based touchscreen in the dash, but you can also control it at the same time from any smartphone or tablet. So you have multiple ways to control the car all at the same time. So thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about this or if you have any questions, give our team a call. You can get us directly at 847 232 1991 or check out our website at www.infinitybox.com. If you like videos like this, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified when we post more. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.